Who is working on a new OS called Fushia? My name is Mohammed, and you're watching Tech for Easy, where technology is made easy for young and old. A few weeks ago, some Google engineers started committing code to the new repository called Fushia. And looking at the different bits of code being added to the repository, it certainly looks like Fushia is an operating system. But what is it? Why is Google investing in it? And what are the goals of the project? These are all good questions. And to be honest, we don't know the answers. However, we can glean some clues from the repository itself. The most obvious feature of Fushia is that it uses Little Kernel and Magenta. LK is a small OS suited to small embedded devices and bootloaders. In fact, it is the core behind various different bootloaders, including some Android bootloaders on an embedded ARM platform. The core of LK is typically just 15 to 20 gigabytes. LK is available from GitHub and is open source software provided under the MIT license. Magenta is higher up the food chain. It is designed for some systems which have more memory, maybe even gigabytes of memory, and which have fewer files, meaning it understands dri device drivers. For example, Magenta is the concept of process where LK does not. Magenta is user mode where user programs run, where as LK does not, and so on. Fushia seems to be Magenta built on top of LK. Fushia could be anything from project related to Internet of Things to new virtual reality developments, of course. This could just be a private project by some Google engineers which they are working on in their spare time. Whatever the final goals of Fushia, one thing is for sure, the art of writing operating systems hasn't changed. And what do you think of Google plans to do with Fushia? Please let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe.